and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy uh, turkey dinner casserole. So uh, we're going to use instant potatoes, stovetop stuffing, frozen mixed vegetables, turkey, and gravy out of a jar. So it's just a matter of throwing stuff together. So we'll start with the mashed potatoes. My recipe will be in my description. So this is a um, 6.2 ounce of mash, powdered mashed potatoes or potato flakes. Put that in there. You add hot water, so over two cups. Butter. And then we take mixed vegetables. So that would be our mashed potatoes, our vegetables, all in one. Put as many as you want in there. Stir this all up. Okay, so we're going to add about a cup of milk. That looks delicious. Helpful. All that ready. Ready to dish. Now we have our instant mashed potatoes, our frozen vegetables, butter, milk, and water all in here. And we're going to dump it in the casserole dish. Sprayed the, the um, casserole dish. This is about a 9 by 13. Press this all down. It seems a little dry. You can add more milk or more water. Okay, so then we're going to add the turkey. You get the turkey off the salad bar if you don't feel like um, cooking a turkey, which I'm sure you don't feel like doing. You can use um, turkey sausage. You can use, they make spam makes a turkey uh, spam. You can use anything you want. And to make it really easy, you could use rotisserie chicken. So, or you can use sliced turkey. And you spread it all over the top like this. So now you have mashed potatoes, you have your turkey, your vegetables, and your gravy. Delicious! Okay. Okay, I thought the mashed potatoes looked a little dry, so I'm going to dump some, like a little bit of milk, or a little bit of water onto here. That'll make the gravy a little bit runnier. Press this all down. See how the mashed potatoes are getting softer now? I think you can tell if they look a little dry. So now they're starting to turn the mashed potatoes are ready. And now we're stuffing instant. Okay. Let's break it all up. I'm put it in a uh, 350 oven and I'm going to cook it to its bubbling. You can start with about 20, 25 minutes and it doesn't seem like it's bubbling hot. Like you can put it in an additional five minutes, but I'm going to start with about 20 minutes and see what happens. Okay, our 
Thanksgiving dinner casserole. Okay, breaking it all up. Okay, I'll be back when it's done. How delicious. I cooked it for 30 minutes at 350. It's bubbling and looking delicious.